Hi Aries, welcome to Carol's Universe Tarot Readings, Tarot Readings from the Heart. Thanks for joining me on your um, January 2017 month ahead forecast. We're going to see what's coming in for you guys. Sun, Moon and Rising Universe, Spirit, show what's coming in for Aries, Sun, Moon and Rising Signs for the month of January 2017. Show me Aries, Sun, Moon and Rising Signs. Aries, Sun, Moon and Rising Signs. Aries, Sun, Moon and Rising Signs. For the month of January 2017, show me. Okay, so we've shuffled the deck and we're going to split the deck. Oh yeah, by the way, I'm so sorry, can't use the inset box this month, guys. Only because I'm filming from my family's home and it's been difficult to carry down all of my equipment to do that. So, um, yeah, just to save on time, I'm just it's just going to be me this month okay next month we'll go back to the normal way that I've devised in doing this so just laying down the cards I'm doing my normal Celtic cross just get some clarifiers on this Got a lot of court cards showing up. Usually if you get a lot of court cards in a reading, it sometimes means that there are many people involved in a situation. Um, I feel that, you know, we've got a King of Wands showing up here and a Star card. Uh, and how I read tarot is I generally try to look at the combinations and the keywords with the combinations and what they can be saying. So the you now position, this is you guys, King of Wands. King of Wands is sometimes an Aries, but, you know, he's usually seen as a Leo individual. Depends what... Um, perspective you come from in terms of being a tarot reader. Some people could read this as being an Aries and a Queen of Wands as being a Leo. Some people like myself will read Queen of Wands as being an Aries and the King of Wands as being a Leo or, you know, the, you know, vice versa. So this is you. I feel that you now shows you guys. And I feel that you are, uh, when you get the King of Wands, this is somebody who is really kind of motivated, who is very ambitious, who is very determined, who is very confident in themselves. Usually this is somebody who's a go-getter when you get a King of Wands. This is a jack of all trades. This is somebody who is almost fearless. And I feel that you are very confident in the month of December, to, uh, January, I keep saying December, January 2017, possibly making approach uh, in terms of a direction that you feel might be quite optimistic or positive or something that you might feel that might lead to something greater, because you've got the star card showing here. Um, so I feel that you, and it could also be maybe you want to make an approach on somebody who you consider to be the star, somebody who stands out to you, somebody who you really feel quite sexually driven by. The King of Wands means to be driven, so I feel that you guys are feeling driven in uh uh, January 2017, potentially over a situation that you feel is quite positive. It could also be a person, maybe an air sign individual, it can be an Aquarius individual. Uh, we've got King of Wands and the Star. So, uh, you know, this could be somebody who you're very sexually attracted to, who you feel very kind of driven to approach, for example, to speak to, to form some form of a uh, interaction with, with this King of Wands energy, uh, with that star as well. If this isn't a person, then it's an, uh, an opportunity or it's a uh, something that makes you feel that this would be a really good thing to do, I feel, in January 2017. 
the real issue is, is I feel that if this is somebody that you're approaching, I feel that this possibly isn't a very good idea in a way. Because you've got a Knight of Swords along with the Knight of Wands. I've seen these guys together before several times and usually this can be a couple of people. Potentially it could be a love triangle. You've got two knights showing here. One is fire, one is air. Uh, and I feel that, you know, you get Knight of Swords and Knight of Wands, but the Knight of Wands, I've just noticed, is looking directly over at the Knight of Swords, and he looks like, shit, this person is getting ahead of me. Um, it might be that you now are the Knight of the King of Wands, but also you're the star. So maybe it's something about you that's driving someone a little bit wild in December, in January 2017. Maybe there's something about your aura, Aries, that kind of has uh, somebody interested, or maybe a couple, because we're seeing two knights. So I feel that this the, the root issue is dealing with a couple of people, but I don't feel that these people are the right people for you to be dealing with, because I feel that they have less than admirable intentions. When you get, and I do feel in a way, this might be a love reading in a way, because, uh, but it's more a sexual reading. Um, it's more, um, it, it's more about, I feel, uh, potentially getting involved with options rather than, you know, a situation that represents falling in love. I feel there's great excitement around your love life for some reason, Aries, in 2017. And I don't know whether it's for good or whether it's for bad, but I feel I'm seeing around one, two, maybe three, one, two, three, maybe four people, four or five people around you in January 2017. And I feel that you are, sorry, I'm just checking to see if my family are coming home because I've got things all over the place and, uh, you know, I want to clear up before they, they come along. Uh, they're, they're out in London for the day seeing a David Bowie um, play and I'm at home sort of getting the readings together. So, yeah, I feel that you feel very driven. I feel that you're the person that could either stand out to a couple of people or it's almost like you have the um, upper hand in a situation in terms of, uh, what decision you make. The Knight of the King of Wands, when you get this card, this is about somebody who needs to make an approach or somebody who is in a position to make an approach. Um, usually the King of Wands is really good with dealing with all sorts of energies. And that's just the type of guy he is. He's a man of all seasons, basically. So female or male with this King of Wands. Um, I feel that this is you, the King of Wands, on the reading. I feel that you're showing up as the King of Wands, Aries, male or female. Uh, and I feel that you're possibly in a really good position with the star card because I feel that it's either you that stands out, somebody standing out to you. But I feel that you want to make an approach, but I feel that it's almost that you feel that the approach that you make to a particular person, whoever this is, you're almost in a position of thinking, well, this has got to lead somewhere. Because the star is a card of positivity, but it's also a card of optimism. So I feel that the King of Wands feels very optimistic. And I feel, you know, if I were to read that together as keywords, it could be that you are feeling very optimistic. And I feel that this could possibly be within your love life in January 2017, Aries. It seems to be the root issue is a Knight of Swords and a Knight of Wands. Two guys, male or female, okay? One uh, air sign, Gemini, Libra, Aquarius. Usually Knight of Swords is an air sign. Uh, but it can also be somebody who's really kind of got the gift of the gab, he's really good at communicating, very fast talker, knows how to wine and dine, very charismatic, but he's a bit of a party guy. And with this Knight of Wands, they are friends, but they're also competitors at the same time as well. It's who can get the girl or the guy the quickest. So I feel that the issue might be uh, around some competitive energies I feel the root issue is going to be based around maybe a couple of people who are interested in you who you might be interested in but these aren't people who I feel for the long haul would be right for some of you guys in terms of a long term relationship these are a couple of options I'm seeing here for some of you guys in uh, January 2017 because I feel that you're in a position where you can have these options around this we have the Queen of Cups now, even though this isn't your sign, I feel that you are in deep contemplative mood. Because when you get the Queen of Cups, this is somebody who needs to go inward and seek uh, their own intuition. So they need to rely heavily on their own intuition. And also they need to say, you know, I'm a Queen of Cups because I'm Scorpio. So often when I'm going through a situation, whether it's love, whether it's, you know, uh, people that I'm dealing with, 
I'll often sit back and think, is this the right thing for me to do? And that's what the Queen of Cups does. She delves heavily into her treasure trove of emotions. And she, when you get queens, they're all about the knowledge that we derive from certain situations because they're all based in water. So the queens will always go back to how they feel, always. Kings represent, they're, they're rooted in earth, so they'll always look at the practicality of something, whereas queens look at their emotions and how things work on an emotional basis. And I feel that you are contemplating possibly uh, a new romance. We've got the Page of Wands showing here, and when you get the Page of Wands, I feel especially in terms of love, um, it could be uh, with the Page of Wands that there is a relationship, a sexual relationship that might be being developed here, but it could also be that you're contemplating a new direction or uh, the development of a passionate relationship. And I feel that you are heavily in contemplative mood for some of you guys, because it does seem to me with this reading that you might be the person who's in charge for the month. Kings mean to be in charge of a situation. And when you get the King of Wands, he's definitely in charge. He's definitely in charge of his feelings, his passions, and he's the one who can actually ring in changes, okay? We've got it with a really positive uh, card, the star. So it might be that you are feeling very optimistic. However, the root issue is, who do you choose? Because you've got two knights going on there. Two knights who seem on a quest to possibly win your heart in... January 2017, um, Aries. However, I feel that you'll be very much contemplating what direction to take with that Page of Wands because the Page of Wands means to jump in. It means to take a risk. It means to be uh, foolhardy. It's like the Fool card. But it also means to run with your passions and to hell with everything else. So the Queen of Cups is a far more contemplative card. And the Page of Wands is a far more, I'm just going to do it card. So when you get the Page of Wands, he'll just rush into something. Uh, it can also be with the Page of Wands communication. So you might be contemplating the communication that you've had, maybe with the both of these individuals, because Page of Wands does represent good news, good communication, light-hearted communication, banter. So it might be with this Queen of Cups, you are, um, as a result of that, possibly contemplating either the development in terms of relationship, maybe with either one of these two people, or it could be the communication that you've been having, because your challenge in the month will be the Ace of Wands. And we've got the Queen of Pentacles. Um, now, the Ace of Wands is about a fresh approach, but it's also about excitement. Uh, lots of male energy. Um, Queen of Pentacles is often where we are evaluating a situation, and I don't feel that this is... Uh, it could be another person that's involved in the situation here. Um, if, it is, if it is, it's a, a, um, a fire sign individual. Usually she's a Capricorn, but it can be a Taurus, Virgo, Capricorn. So it could be that maybe the challenge is, maybe there's somebody else involved here. However, the challenge could also be that maybe, just maybe, this is a little bit of a... Uh, you can't see how this relationship would lead to anything deeper. Because the Queen of Pentacles, when you get this card in terms of relationships, she's either somebody who's concentrating on career and she doesn't have time for a relationship, or she's somebody who wants more because she's very much a homebody. So she wants children and she wants a deep connection and she wants a husband and she wants a home life. So she wants the full hug and it might be with this Ace of Wands your challenge is seeing how these kind of quick and exciting relationships or how this kind of um, uh, excitement could lead maybe with that Queen of Pentacles to something that is far more enduring. So I feel that in the present, in January 2017, um, Aries, Sun, Moon and Rising signs, you're going to kind of like just sit back and relax before you, uh, and this is you, the Six of Wands, before you make your approach, before you make your decision. Because I feel that the best case scenario, the most likely outcome is that you're going to need to be a bit cautious, the nine of wands, because I feel that some of you guys have been burnt quite heavily in terms of relationships before. So it's to be cautious over deception or over a deceiver, the seven of swords. And it might be because we've got this knight of swords here. You're going to be careful, especially around an air sign individual in the month of uh, January 2017, because I feel that, you know, you get the nine of wands and this is somebody who's on their guard. They've been really, really hurt in the past. So now they're still standing, they're not falling, they still believe in love, they still believe in success, 
but they're more cautious about how they approach things going forward. And we know that the Seven of Swords can often be uh, about a deceiver, somebody who's a little bit... Um, and this is also the cautious card as well, being careful. It could be that the most likely outcome is, is that you are not so quick to make a move with that Nine of Wands. Perhaps with the Nine, Seven of Swords, because you're being very careful. Because the Seven of Swords mean, also means be careful, tread carefully. But it could also mean with this Nine of Wands, they can both mean being cautious. That you are being cautious because maybe you see a situation leading to some form of deception or lies or something like that, potentially. However, I do feel that there is somebody else coming in for you, Aries, Sun, Moon and Risings, in the uh, month of January 2017. And it's in the guise of a King of Cups. He shows with the Ace of Pentacles. So I believe that this person here, and it can be a water sign, Scorpio, Pisces, Cancerian individual. Usually the King of Cups is either seen as a Scorpio or a Cancerian individual. I feel that there's going to be somebody new coming in and they want to offer you possibly an opportunity. And I feel that this opportunity you will see as being more long term or having the energies or the potential to be long term other than these two individuals. That Knight of Swords and Knight of Wands. These are kind of fleeting people that you're looking at. But you kind of know the game. You know what's going on with these individuals, which is why you're contemplating the communication maybe that you've got with these two other individuals. Because I feel that your challenge is seeing uh, this Ace of Wands, this ex sexual excitement, or the excitement around these people as being anything that can kind of grow into a long-term relationship where you can build a life or you can build something with this particular individual, which is why you're kind of sitting back and relaxing. Perhaps with the Six of Wands, because you're the one who doesn't have much to lose. You're the one who's in demand. Six of Wands individual can represent people who are in demand, people who are successful, people who are confident. So maybe you're sitting back. Remember, the hangman isn't always about putting things on hold. It is. But also, this person is quite relaxed on the card. So maybe you're just feeling quite relaxed around this. Because you know that you're the one who's truly in control of your own destiny with that Six of Wands. And you're confident enough not to make a move. Because the best case scenario is to be cautious of deception or because you've been burnt in the past with that nine of wands and that is you on the nine of wands you're treading more carefully with the king of swords and you're holding out just to see if there's anybody else that comes along there is an individual that comes along though i feel i feel that this is the third person king of cups shows up here as i've said water sign scorpio cancer pisces who wants to offer you an opportunity the ace of pentacles and around that we can see great happiness because we've got the Three of Cups and that Ten of Cups. And the Three of Cups is often a card about joy. It's a card about friendships. It's a card about socialising. But then so is the Ten of Cups. I don't feel that this is a relationship that, you know, uh, builds up really quickly in January. I just feel that you meet someone, potentially for some of you guys, who you feel a sense of affinity with or a sense of, oh, I really like this person and we really, really get along. And there is the potential here, because we're having such a good time together, to... Um, uh, to have great joy or to, you know, build something maybe of great worth or maybe this person I feel can bring me great happiness. It could also be maybe with this King of Cups who you see more potential with, with the Ace of Pentacles. Maybe the influences around that person are that you're going out and you meet this person on a night out. Three of Cups can often mean a party, a social gathering, and so does the Ten of Cups as well. So maybe you meet someone... Um, that way potentially however your fears or your hopes well your hopes are it seems the ten of swords ten of wands you're blocking out a king of swords so i thought for some of you guys it might be that you have uh this isn't always for those guys who are potentially um in you know really good relationships i feel that this reading might be for some of you guys who are not in relationships but there's somebody from your past that you've put to bed, and you're somebody you've been trying to block out, okay? And that's why we've got different people showing up in the reading, because I feel that for some of you single guys, if you're watching this, and I know I know this, this isn't your um, this isn't your love reading, 21 card gypsy, and we'll see to that uh, during the month. We'll get that up for you. But I feel that because you're blocking out, your hopes are the ten of wands, and this is you guys again, because you're Aries, fire sign, you're struggling, but the Ten of Wands often means to conceal. 
or to hide from or to block out. So I feel that you're blocking out a King of Swords. Somebody, maybe another air sign that was in your life. Your hopes are that with the potential that comes around a new suitor, male or female, King of Cups, your hopes will be to block out somebody who you were potentially quite in love with, but maybe this is the person that burnt you. Nine of Wands. And therefore you're treading more carefully. Because in the immediate future, somebody else comes along, King of Cups, and wants to offer you an opportunity. And your hopes will be... And you're going to have a good time around this person because you've got that Three of Cups and the Ten of Cups. But as a result of that, your hopes will be... Um, will be to block out a King of Swords. But the overall outcome is that this new love, uh, or the potential of new love, Ace of Cups, I feel comes at a price with the king with the uh, with the devil card because the devil card is something that comes at a price you might have a good time while you're there but then there are other repercussions that follow with that i.e. obsessional love superficial relationship sex that type of thing it's not a particularly deep card we don't have an ace of cups and a two of cups we've got an ace of cups and a devil which i don't particularly like for myself as a combination i'm going to get a card after that and see why we've got the ace of cups and the devil showing up here because of the five of swords i feel that this new relationship potentially with you guys comes at a price with that devil card because there seem to be challenges with the Five of Swords. Or maybe you're still grieving. Or maybe you're still feeling a sense of loss. Something like that. But this isn't someone... I feel there is somebody that you guys are trying to get over. And I feel that you've been searching potentially for a longer than this. For somebody else in order to do that, Aries. Okay? I feel that you've been searching for an awful long time. Uh, to try and get over this person. that what we're seeing here is that um, this person that seems to come in, this King of Cups that wants to offer an opportunity or that you see the potential of an opportunity with, Aries, and that you are hoping, you seem to have a good time around this individual, we've got that Three of Cups and the Ten of Cups, there seems to be a lot of, if you're a drinker, a lot of alcohol, it's almost like you're in a place where there's a lot of drinking here. And it seems that you almost think in January that maybe this person can help you get over. You're hoping they'll help you get over this, this King of Swords. But I feel that it's almost like you don't see this person for a while in January. You see them, you meet them, but it might be it takes a bit more time for this person to come to you, if that makes any sense. Because the overall outcome seems to say to me that the potential for new love, it might be with the Devil card that it's restricted. Because there are... Challenges potentially can be also mind games, but challenges in communication, possibly from the world, possibly because there is no contact with that high priestess energy here. High priestess means secrets, or it means things aren't really uh, um, things aren't uh, resolved, or things aren't spoken about, or a time of passivity. Maybe this person remains passive to you. Because that's what the High Priestess is. New love is restricted, the devil. Because there are challenges in communication from the world in which there is passivity or silence. High Priestess can often mean silence. Um, I feel that this is saying that in the overall outcome there is new relationship seems to be restricted with the devil because it seems that there are challenges over a communication. We are in Mercury retrograde as well from the world. 
in which there will be a passive time. So enjoy your independence, which gives you happiness with that sun card. I do feel that this is mainly for people who might be single or might have just come out of relationships because I feel that there is somebody that you're blocking out here, um, Aries. This is how it would appear to me in this reading. Uh, we'll go through this reading one more time for you. It's very interesting. I feel that right now, uh, in, in January 2017, the you now shows you guys, King of Wands, and I feel that you're feeling a sense of optimism with that star card there. Optimism in kind of your own confidence, making approaches to people, because the root issue shows two people that may have gained your interest. Uh, Knight of Swords, Knight of Wands, but these are kind of people that I don't feel that you'd be considering anything long-term, or I feel that you meet them, but you kind of know that this isn't the type of individuals that you want, because you want a man or a woman and not a boy or a girl. Therefore, I feel that you are highly contemplative, or you are highly intuitive with that Queen of Cups energy there, that this might be kind of a little bit of a fleeting relationship with either one of these individuals, because your challenge is possibly uh, seeing a flash relationship as being anything kind of that you want to settle down with or these energies is you know I feel that uh, there is the challenge also with the ace of wands I would say possibly is that you um you're feeling challenged seeing you know the ace of wands can be you as well so this is your own epiphany or this is your you know the challenge might be that you are awakened to uh the fact that you want something long term in a relationship and I'm just wondering that I'm just thinking to myself that these people don't seem to be the type of people that you would want to have a long-term relationship with. It. I feel that you find it difficult to see any of these two people here as being, uh, you know, settling down with material Aries in January 2017. So therefore, I feel it leaves you in the present situation. It's kind of just sitting back and relaxing because I feel that you're confident enough with that Six of Wands to do that. Aries and not feel a way about it you're confident within yourself enough to say you know what actually I don't feel these two people are right for me this knight of swords knight of wands it might just be people that you pass by when you're out and about but you you know you find it difficult you know we all do that we all see people say nah nah he's good looking or she's good looking not that I go for looks but you know they've got certain this that and the other about them but it's in their personality or the way they are that I don't feel that something could really sort of transpire from them so I feel that you're you're you know you're just kind of chilling in the present because uh you're waiting for some form of victory you're waiting for the right person to come to you or you know you're sitting back and relaxing I feel with that hanged man because you know that you've got it you know that you can find what you want in terms of relationship and you don't just need to go for the first people that come for you because I feel the best case scenario is that or the most likely outcome is is that you're going to be scared it could be that nine of wands means that you're scared of people who are deceptive with that uh, seven of swords or it could be that you are um, um, you are uh, on your guard, okay? So because you're on your guard, you're being a little bit more careful. The Nine of Wands suggests that you've been through a lot of struggles. So it might be that some of you guys have been through a struggling time in terms of a relationship. That's put you on your guard and you're being a little bit careful, which is why the root issue is... There seems to be two people here. They're not the greatest cards to get in terms of love. And you are highly contemplating maybe the communication you've had with them with that page of wands. Or you are highly intuitive that this is kind of, these are childlike individuals with that page of wands energy. Or this is just kind of a flash in the pan type of thing that's going on in terms of um, building or developing a relationship. Um, however, in the immediate future, the next two weeks of January, I feel that you meet someone. Uh, Aries, it's a King of Cups, Scorpio, Cancer, Pisces, male or female, and you might see potential with the Ace of Pentacles in terms of this individual. It's not that they want to offer you anything long term. No, we never want to offer anything long term when we first get into relationships, not unless we absolutely know that this is a 100% soulmate. So I thought that you might see some real because this is a man. These are boys when you get the Knight of Wands, uh, Knight of Swords energy. They're boys or girls, they're young, they're rambunctious. 
they're just out for the party or the good time. But this is a sensitive individual when you get a King of Cups. So I feel that you're going to meet somebody who's quite sensi uh, sensitive and you might see who, who offers you an opportunity, but also you might see great potential in this individual because the influence is coming in as a result of that. I feel that there's going to be kind of, you know, having a good time with this individual, the Three of Cups, okay? One in which maybe you feel it could lead to something greater, bigger. It could lead to something long-term in, in terms of love with that Ten of Cups. But it could also be maybe you meet this person. There's a lot of water here, so maybe that there's a lot of drinking going on or, you know, there's a lot of um, just having a good time with these cards. However, what's interesting is that you will be hoping to block out. That's you again on the Ten of Wands because you're fire. You're blocking out an air sign. And maybe this is the person in the best case scenario that makes you feel so cautious here in which you are being very careful in terms of choices that you're making in, 2000, in January 2017, Aries. And therefore, the outcome, I feel, says that in regards, because the outcome cards we look at as a result of these cards here in the immediate future, the influences that are coming in, that you're going to be having a good time with a particular person who seems to be very emotionally sensitive, seems very kind and all the rest of it, very responsible. Uh, what we're seeing is, yeah, you're having a good time around this individual, but I feel that this is more that you meet this person and you feel really good around them in January 2017, Aries. But I do feel as a result of that, that this new love will face some form of a restriction because there could be challenges in communicating with this person. Maybe because they're a different part of the world. Maybe they're just not around. And therefore, maybe a time of silence will enable you to reflect on what you have that should bring a sense of happiness and joy to you. I feel also you need to be grateful with that Nine of Pentacles here, which also should bring a sense of happiness to you. Uh, because you are stable with that Four of Pentacles there. And I feel that you're also at peace with the Four of Swords. So I feel that, yeah, there is somebody coming in, but I feel that there might be communication and uh, communication problems going on with this individual. I thought you'll have the greatest time with a particular individual in the month of December, uh, January 2017, but I do feel that there's going to be some communication errors going on here. And I feel that, you know, it could be that in February or the end of January that this person comes back and contacts you. But I feel that... Uh, you're trying to block somebody out anyway. And this person kind of comes along at the right time. But I don't see this relationship, whoever this person is that comes in Aries, as moving way, way forward in January. Okay, I feel that this person won't be around or there'll be a lack of contact because I feel that there'll be some distance. Maybe this is somebody who lives in another part of the world and they're visiting or another part of the country or something like that and they go home or something like that. Um... But it gives you time to focus on yourself, and that's where your true happiness is, uh, I feel, in January 2017. Let's just get um, an angel card and see what the angels have to say for the month of January 2017. Universe Spirit Angels, what is the advice that you have for Aries, Sun, Moon and Rising Signs for the month of January 2017? What is the advice? Show me the advice that you have for Aries, Sun, Moon and Rising Signs for the month of January 2017 show me the situation will improve so that's excellent even though there is somebody that comes in and I don't feel that you're gonna I feel that you'll see them for a snatch of time in January but I feel that you won't see them afterwards for a little bit and you know but it's okay because I feel that you just get used to doing whatever it is that you're doing all right um, let's have a look at what the uh, advice is with that the situation will improve your angels want you to know that they are aware that things look difficult right now. However, the situation is going to improve. It may take some time and there will most likely be some hard work ahead of you, but the effort you put forth will be worth it and things are going to get better. Now is not the time to give up on wounded friendships or ailing relationships. And that's what I was saying. I feel that there will be a time of distance between you and somebody else, Aries, in January 2017, but it could be for any reason. So, you know... I feel the reading is saying don't write this person off because it could be for any reason that you're not having contact with them. Uh, there is still hope for the future. Take heart and continue to work towards a partnership 
where both parties are fulfilled and happy in the future. So it's telling you not to give up hope on a particular person who comes into your life and where there is the potential for something here. But also, you'll, it seems that you're dealing with blocking somebody out off your world, off your life. And maybe this person is the catalyst for that. I feel that you're just judging by the reading and seeing that there are a couple of people coming in here, but they're not suited to you. And you're doing a lot of evaluation around that because I feel that you have a problem in seeing this kind of um, new relationship with these couple of people, or the possibility of one not having any type of longevity to it. Or you're seriously contemplating, is this something that I consider to be uh, growth potential? Uh, you seem to sit back relaxed because I feel that you're being very cautious of me, being very careful. You don't want to be taken for granted. But somebody seems to come in and you seem to have a good time with this individual. But there is some lack of contact afterwards. But it's telling you the angels with the card the situation will improve. Not to, you know, really give up on the situation because you don't really know what's going to happen. So just sit back, relax, take it easy and, you know, see what happens going into February. That is your reading, Aries, for the month of January 2017. I would like to say thank you so much for using Carol's Universe. Hopefully I can get the love readings up properly. The 21 card, Gypsy Tarot Spread, for January 2017. And I'll speak to you guys soon. Take care.